Uh, name that tune. If you name that tune, you're amazing. It means you know a lot about music. Hey, guys, what's up? My name is David Morgan, and this is the Music Shed reaction series. And today, we are going to react to something new by Dimash. And you guys might say, well, you shouldn't check out the new... Like, you have to go in a certain order. Once you tell me that I need to go in a certain order, that's exactly what I'm not going to do. Okay? You got to understand that about me. But... I have really enjoyed learning about Dimash, hearing his heavenly voice. Very inspiring to me. I have been very moved by Dimash so far. And I'm really looking forward to this. This is a song called Amanat. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, then I'm not. I'm not going to work here anymore anyway. <laughs> so, um... Let's check it out. This is some new stuff from him. Ooh, what's, whoa, what's that? Okay, whoa, hold on. He has his own Dimashali Creative Center. Okay, so right there shows you this guy is a guy who is taking hold of his career and doing things the way that he wants to do them. That is so cool. Just artists did not used to be able to do that. Just create a label, create a center. And, and you know, the new technology of YouTube and getting being able to get things on spot, not being label dependent, not being studio dependent, not being film company dependent, not being television dependent is so freeing for artists. Look what we can do. Look what he can do. I love that. Now let's listen. So, so a lot of times when I play an introduction to something, I'll go and start an octave higher than I'm going to be playing when I accompany, when the vocal comes in. And that's what they did here. And I really, there's something, there's, a, there's an ethereal kind of, heavenly feeling that you get from that octave higher on the piano or guitar or whatever. And then... I guess I'm trying to point out a couple different things here. As an arrangement tool, starting something up an octave gives it a certain, like I said before, like a heavenly, ethereal feeling. And then jumping back down an octave, you're jumping down an octave, kind of gets you on the ground a little bit more. And, you know, jumping around throughout the song absolutely but i just like how the intro started in one octave and then jumped down to the lower octave just something to kind of pick up and 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 notice very good arrangement tool I the breath his breathiness he's got that that the breath, the sound of his breath 
in the note makes it ethereal, kind of angelic. Not of this world. an E minor and the melody is so beautiful so simple and just gorgeous and I like the whole setting that they're in is really neat what they got going on I can't tell if all that stuff is like a green screen or whatever but uh, he's got his center that's got to be I got to check out what that is it's very neat The way that he sings, his control of his voice, his technical control is so great and so trained, but it but you but it's so effortless at the same time. It's he's not everything is transcendent. His technique, his spirituality, his emotions. The physical, spiritual, and emotional are all on such a high level. It's able to just come out of him in this just gorgeous way. He has a naturally beautiful voice. It obviously has been trained to this incredibly high level. And his ability to be able to emote in this way is so is so moving. It's very, very, he's amazing. I don't like to use the word amazing, but he really is amazing. I can't tell if he's singing live or not. It sometimes seems like he is and sometimes seems like it's he's doing a really good job of lip syncing to the original track. I don't care what he's doing. Um I just don't know. I can't tell. You Dimash people, what do you call yours? Oh, you the you dears. You dears will know that. Answer the question. You will know the answer to that one. I need to go to this place. I'm going. I'm going to get on a plane in a couple hours and go to, to Dimash Center. Mm. So what did they do right there? They were here. This was the tonal center, E minor. And they modulated, which means to change keys. They went up two half steps, which is equal to a whole step. They went from here. They didn't go there. They went to the next one to F sharp minor. So they went up a whole step. They modulated up a whole step. There really are no rules for where you can modulate and how you modulate. You just, if you want to go to a different key and keep that song moving somewhere, going somewhere, modulation is a really, really useful arrangement tool. goes I 
I don't imagine any of you actually know him. But you can really feel a person through their music. He just seems like a really wonderful, spiritual man. There's no one like Dimash. His voice is a finely tuned instrument. He has incredible control. At any moment, he can do whatever he wants. That takes a lot of practice, takes a lot of training. And it really comes across in a very modest way, though. He's got masterful control of his voice, and it seems like he always wants to come across as authentic. That's a really, I think the word authentic seems appropriate for Dimash. He seems like a very authentic person and an authentic artist. And I'm drawn to an artist like that. I'm a jazz musician drawn to authentic artists like John Coltrane and Miles Davis. And he seems to fall in that category to me of uh, an incredibly well-trained musician who is very true to themselves and sings about something that really is moving to them. And they want to share that with the world but it comes through to put a little bow on this comment, very refined and controlled technique. Beautiful song. So, you know, this channel has been mainly me reacting to either a live performance or a studio performance, like a music video. It's not just audio for me. I'm looking, I'm, 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 I'm taking in a lot of information here and the scene that set really does affect the way that I'm reacting to it and the way that I'm feeling about it and telling you guys about it. And here you've got a very, a very meditative atmosphere. And I think I meditate when I play because I, I'm, my mind is transcendent. I feel like very in tune and not distracted, but this whole idea of, of the meditative environment is really cool. And something that I, I would like to get further with in my practice of meditation. Just a lot of information I just gave you right there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I'm
When I hear that stuff, I just got to play. I got to do it. Because I'm moved. Is he as wonderful a person in real life as he's seen as he comes across? He's very unique. And his his delivery is so spot on. It seems like he's a person who really works on himself in every way. Emotionally, physically, technically, spiritually, the whole deal. He's a package there. Mr. Dimash. And th- and I love that he's got this way of delivering his music now that's his his own brand. Good for him. I love it. So he's going to get some claps. I don't usually clap, but I'm clapping for him today. Gorgeous song. I want to know who wrote it. Okay. I need to know who wrote that. And um, I really enjoy that. He is one of the treasures that I have come across this year. Um, Cause my friend Brad from high school recommended him. So Brad, thanks again. Love you, dude. So <laughs> Hope you guys have a really, really, you deers out there and you people who aren't deers who are just are discovering Dimash. Maybe you'll become one of those deers. Is there a deer t-shirt that I could get? Because I mean, like if there is someone, send it to me. Okay. I want a deer t-shirt. Okay. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I love Dimash. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for the notifications. And um, and leave comments. You know, some of times you dears leave really way too long comments. When they're this long, I may not read the whole thing because I just don't have time. Make them like, you know, make them a little more condensed if you could. Then I'll read them. Or just do whatever you want because it's YouTube and it's free. Have a wonderful musical day, dears. Love you. <laughs>